Hey guys, have you ever wondered that in Appian there are three kinds of relation it is there one to many, many to one basically both are reverse of each other only and then one to one is there what about many to many relation if we have to create a many to many relation how we can create that or take a step back and understand what are even many to many relation and why we need many to many relation in some of the cases so today we are going to see what are many to many relation and how in Appian you can configure the many to many relation. By the end of this video you will know what many to many relations are and how you can configure them easily into Appian. Now let's start from the very basic part. Let's consider that there is a table of student here. The columns of the student table are ID, name and gender. Now after that there are certain subjects you can see that are present there. Now let's say that if John has taken maths it will be true. If he has taken science it will be true. And if he has not taken history then it will be false. The problem that you can face here is that let's say that there are multiple more subjects as well. Then it will be difficult. You will never have a fixed number of columns in that table. It will be very difficult to manage for multiple students as well so you cannot have n number of columns for n number of subjects and you keep on adding and changing the data model because tables are the backbone of the application nothing will work then so in order to resolve this kind of redundancy of the data what we do after this is that we create a separate table for courses here so here you can see the table for the course now what it has basically the course will have id and name and now id is one here name of the course is english maths and history so we have one table for the student here we have one table for the course here and now in order to map both of them together what we do here we need to create something called as a bridge table you can say that a bridge table is needed or you can also say that as a junction table will also be needed for that particular purpose here a bridge or a junction table now how does this junction table look like so basically it looks like this enrollment so I have given the name of the table as enrollment here first of all ID of the enrollment means the table primary key is there now student ID 1 and course ID 2 so anybody who will ask that student ID 1 has taken course 2 it means what one is what John has taken course 2 is maths and second row if you see again student ID 1 is there now he has taken third course course as well so third course is what history it means that John has taken two courses here which is maths and history here so in this way with the help of a bridge or a junction table you will be able to simplify your data so that it will removes the data redundancy and make the data flexible as well so querying data will also become easier with this approach here now let's come back to Appian once so in Appian you will see that there is one to many there is many to one and one to one only there is no option for many to many how you will be able to configure many to many then so if you see that here student table is present here and enrollment is here so if you have to create a relation first of all student and enrollment relation will get created so one student can have multiple enrollments so that's how it will work and after that you have created one to many with enrollments then course will get created so course will also have one to many with enrollment table so here also it will have one to many here it will also have one to many in this way you can store the data for the many to many relation as well now in Appian as well we have tried to create the same table there is one table for the student here you can see one record is there name gender and class are present and one is for the course the name of the course is there and duration of the course is present one course table is there one student table is there and we have created one enrollment table as well and included the student id the course id and created on and created by that's it and now we have to configure a relation from course to enrollment and student to enrollment and our many to many relation will be achieved so let's try that go to student table and click on add relation right here ma enrollment select your record type click on next here so when you will go one student will have many enrollments so select id here and here student id click on add so in this way you will have the relation between student and enrollment that is then save your changes and now let's come back to the course here also we will add relation MA enrollment is there click on next and here also we will select one to many so the first field is id and here we will select the course id click on add relation now both of the relations have been added here 
Now, if you come back to the enrollment table, you will see that both of the relation are now suggesting here, like many to one is suggesting and many to one for the course is also suggesting. So we can just click on add all and both of the relation will get added to the enrollment table as well. And here you can see the enrollment has many to one with course and many to one with relation. So basically like student and course is having many to many relation with the help of a bridge table between them or a junction table. Now let's try to revise a bit. We have seen that how you can create a student table and a separate course table and then a junction table for the many to many relation there. And after that, we have even created the relations between them as well. Now, what about some examples, how we can actually use them in our interfaces and store the data in this particular enrollment table as well. Now, we will see that how in the interface, you will be able to map the many to many relation here. So for the interface part here, I have created one interface here. And if you see that in the interface part, we have taken the student here. So one student is there, let's say, Maria is selected and Maria is assigned some courses here based on that. So how we are storing that here? First of all, you have to query the complete student data here. So I'm querying the student data. Then you have to query the course data here and the student data. It is a drop down field. You can see student data. You have to refer here and for the courses, you have to refer in a multiple drop down because one student can have multiple courses as well. So here you can see that in our local variable, when you select a student, the ID of the student gets selected, student ID 3. Now as you select multiple courses here, so multiple courses will also get selected here. So here you can see six, two, three, four, five, six courses are getting selected. If I select one as well, so one, two, three, all these values will also get selected here. And now the challenge comes that, okay, fine. I have selected the student. I have selected the courses. Now in the enrollment, I have to create a, how many rows it will get created as many rows as you have the courses here. One student is having six course. So six entry will come into this enrollment table here. How you can configure that? So basically you have to go in the save into button and here you have to configure this so see here a bank save i have written and in the a bank save ri bank enrollment is there make sure that that rule input ri bank enrollment that you are taking it is of array type here because it will store multiple data and after that you can see here for each i have used there now for each courses so these are the six courses okay so six entries should get saved in my ri here now in the expression you can see i have taken the record type as enrollment so whatever the data is there i am casting that into the enrollment record type directly here so student id is fixed it is one student only and now the course id is what it is variable and where it is present there local bank select course so for each iteration it will be different first time it will be course id 2 3 4 5 6 1 by 1 6 entry will be there and created on created by is fine now and logged in user so when as soon as you click on submit the button you will get six entries here why because six courses are there and you want to check all the data you can check all the data here see here student id is everywhere student id is three only and courses will change to three and here you can see four five six and then one like this one and once you have made the interface then you can just create a process model in order to write the data to the database and this is the record list let's try to refresh it here and here we will try to see that in action go to add enrollment select a student let's say sarah williams i selected and select some courses from here that's it and click on submit button when you will submit the data then that many entry one two three four four entries should get created here and you can see all student id are five only and different different courses you can see here and since we have even configured the relation as well instead of id if we want the name of the course that also we can achieve it let's see that go to the list go to edit list and go to the course id here click on edit and here instead of this button you can go to enrollment and relation for the course and then a course name that's it click on ok and you can see here all the name of the courses are now showing here save your changes and refresh the record list here 
सो नाउ यू नो वट इज अ मेनी टू मेनी रिलेशनशिप हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द मेनी टू मेनी रिलेशनशिप हाउ यू कैन मैप फ्रॉम द यू आई एज वेल एंड सेव इन द डेटा एज वेल एंड इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शो द नेम ऑफ दम हाउ यू कैन शो दैट एज वेल सो आई होप दिस वॉज क्लियर टू यू दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर नाउ थैंक यू